Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will continue our part 3 with overhauling of piston from the engine. As we can see here now in this uh, episode already our cylinder head is out and what I will do I will open quickly my tools here and I will start the procedure. First of all, I'd like to thank you that you have subscribed to the channel and you always share the material. So now I will remove the crankcase covers, first of all, from the cam side and the exhaust side also here. As we can see, we have the same crankcase relief valves from this side. Okay, let's remove the cover from the here also. One thing about these covers that do not over tight them because the O-rings will be damaged. And always have these ceiling rings in case that you will have any drops here down below. So now I will unscrew these butterfly nuts. I will come closer here to remove the cover. So now I will engage the turning gear and then secure back again with uh, the bolt. Next I think it is to attach a ratchet and I will turn the engine so the piston and we can see that our engine is turning so the piston will come higher here enough and the next step will be to set our special tool for the removal of flame ring that is it let's set up so this is some kind of extractor and now I will set also this nuts here by hand as much as possible try to be equal length here because uh, to be equally pressed and what is happening here this extractor stands on the surface of the cylinder liner and will pull out the flame ring with help of this plate metal plate so our next move will be to turn the engine so as the engine rises, it pulls uh, the flame ring and as we can see this kind of uh, extractor, let's say, or support, we can talk about that, uh, it's placed for the reason to keep the cylinder liner in, pre in a position so it will not move. In case that your cylinder liner will move, it is necessary to remove because the O-rings for sure uh, will need replacement. Okay, let's pick up our flame ring and our plate, metal plate. So let's uh, turn down a little bit so we can have a access from the bottom, from the crank space here and next we will uh, remove these hydraulic nuts normally there is hydraulic um, special tools to be fitted there and as apprentice also I had experience that uh, in diesel generator we tied by a torque range there is some engines that uh, will be like that it is different really with the torque torque range is much much quick here this kind of job but really that engines also work 
for a prolonged time. We remove also the studs from here and they do not have any kind of problem. So here will be one person on the bottom. He will try as much as possible secure so this surface will not uh, damaged on the crank shaft. So one person will be monitor here and one person will be on the top and we'll attach a eye bolt here on the top so let's attach it in the position and then we will attach also uh, our chain block <coughs> so okay and try as much as possible to have a communication with uh, the engineer which is located on the bottom so uh, he will not hit his hands and also we will not scratch uh, the piston uh, no not the piston I mean the pistons uh, bearing and also the crankshaft itself so let's remove the chain block from here okay let's remove also the eye bolt let's unscrew it and then, okay, here uh, you can remove also this kind of uh, piston rings by hand, that is true. For the bearings here, you cannot make any mistake and mix them. Only that you need to write down there is the number it's located, but the top and the bottom, uh, there is not any a mistake that you can do because they have special pins and it's easy to identify them personally by uh, the tool that is provided from uh, the maker it's very very easy to remove these piston rings but before you remove them if you like you can measure but anyway in 60,000 hours it's better to replace them and really as I told before the cost is really really small Let's remove now the lock ring here, the Omega lock ring. So as we remove now, we can draw out our piston pin. And then it is very easy to remove the connecting root and place it uh, down on the wooden plank. So I will remove also the small end bearing here for checking and if the condition is really really bad we can uh, replace it so let's go back and let's go for the assembly procedure let's start the simulator because uh, we have time and the video is not so much extended please my dear friends stay as much as possible to check the video and for the assembly procedure okay we will go at the back of the engine where the piston lines uh, there is for all that items there is measurements in uh, the manual even there is clearances for the piston pin here the bearings you can check the overall condition but in most cases they are found in good condition and it's really really um, not necessary to replace them so if you see there is some um, normal remove of the metal okay let's say in uh, the um, in and compare also with the manual because most of the manuals have uh, some instructions about uh, the wear itself and also about the measurements you can compare them and take a proper action if you will replace or you will set the same item for further usage so this is our locking ring let's place it back and really important here before you assembly your piston pin and your um, bearing the surfaces to be clean and apply some oil so this will slide much much easier so let's lift our piston 
Uh, as I see here, it's uh, very, very difficult to do that. Mostly two person need uh, to do such job. Because anyway, uh, if you like, if you would like to lower uh, this piston, it will take for sure some chain block uh, to help you with, with that. And one person more. So let's place the oil ring. Let's place uh, the second ceiling ring and let's place the top ring. All of them have uh, numbers here or uh, there is a indication top. So per manufacturer, okay, there can be some differences. Let's place our bearing in the position. And now we can attach our uh, eyeball so next we will set our chain block and we will lift our piston uh, back again to the engine so as i can see here uh, probably there is a step error let's see okay we will put uh, our tool in the position for um, this is the proper because uh, if I press they directly put the piston inside and this is a tool which also we know form an engine it's uh, the same tool to compress the piston rings and as you can see it goes here on the top and the shape of this uh, tool it's conical it's uh, wider on the top and as it goes and lower down it will be more and more to the diameter of the cylinder liner here so let's lift our piston let's take it inside so apply some oil here around also here apply all, everything with oil it is really really necessary so everything will be slight and before you put your piston inside uh, try as much as possible to adjust so your uh, rings will have between them between the groove um, of the rings to have about 60 or 70 degrees difference so the exhaust gases and the gases that produce inside the chamber will not uh, pass from that gaps between uh, the piston rings so as our piston it's uh, in position first of all we need to what we will need to do it's to pick up here one moment let's see so the piston is in position okay this is the last thing that we will do um, Okay, in the program here we remove it direct, but when we place it in position, then we remove um, everything. So we must be verified that it lies normally. Here it's not lying so much. And let's go on the top to see if it's necessary uh, to do something later on to lower it down to the crankcase. So here still uh, it's not available something for do. Let's try to set. Okay, let's place the flame ring. The flame ring goes in the position. Okay, it sits down. Okay, firmly. And if you have new ceiling ring and everything is clean, it's uh, fit it very very easy by hand so we set our uh, studs here and also uh, these studs here will have probably some uh, tension which also uh, refer to the manual so let's put our lower part Okay, and now we can tight if everything it will be aligned. Let's tight it 
and now what we can do now let's see everything here it's fine everything in position so the next step will be to close the cover from this side and from the other side okay and uh, return back the turning gear but also uh, at the moment when you try to test after that okay when you place also the cylinder head as we have shown in the part one uh, in the first video also it's necessary to measure the temperature of the crankcase with a, a infrared temperature sensor so uh, and compare with uh, the other crankcase doors in the event there is uh, not proper tightening or there is uh, some friction or something else is happening uh, let's say if there is any problem it will be um, identified by the increasement of the temperature so the engine will run at the first time without load to monitor for 20 or 30 minutes and then uh, if everything is fine uh, you will be able to test uh, the engine under load and as we told before it's always a it's good thing you are testing your engine uh, during the daytime so let's close the cover and screw it back okay and we have done we have finished the disassembly and the assembly procedure hope you like your videos don't forget to share don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel Thank you my dear friends and on the next video we will talk about the cylinder liner which I believe it will be really really nice uh, overhauling and most of the people like to see that overhauling. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye bye.